Welcome to Club Travels. We are at the Aurora Food Truck Festival. They do something special throughout the summer season every first Friday. Actually, I don't, it might be year round, I'm not sure, but this is the only one where there's an actual festival. There's upwards of 30 food trucks, and we're going to walk around and show you. We've already had some samplings, it was just too hard to record and uh, eat and everything. So we did that. We're going to pop by all the ones that we uh, sampled, show you a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, we're having a great evening. Weather is absolutely beautiful on this May 3rd. And um, all right, let's have some fun. All right, so we're going to start at one end and work our way back. And I just kind of go through the, the food truck festival here. We got a, we've got Society 57 here doing some beer and wine right out of there place. We were at the Wickwood House. Here we had a cocktail and a glass of wine. And we've got a cheeses food truck right here. Got a little home run hot dogs over there. The Grumpy Gaucho we've eaten there before. Another saw, saw them somewhere else. Tacos, Fiesta Taco. All right, so we grabbed a couple of tacos here. Really good, delicious, very nice steak tacos. Highly recommend them if you see them out and about. All right, we had some uh, loaded pork, kind of like nachos, but they were waffle fries here. Very good, barbecue sauce, sour cream. All right, this is, what is this, the rainbow cone? The rainbow cone. And Yum Dum, I definitely want to get some Yum Dum before we leave. But the line is really long for Strawberries Barbecue over here. We've seen those guys over at the Aurora Farmer's Market on Saturday mornings. Pretty good barbecue. We've got Burritoville tacos and burritos. Good stuff. And we had a bratwurst earlier from Worst Kitchen. Highly recommend checking out Worst Kitchen. Uh, they do just everything is all sausage they've got coolers you can walk in and all kinds of different flavors and styles kissed by fire keep seeing these guys on social media oh yeah cooking up some sausage and we've got craft urban over here we came to visit these guys last week, uh, two weeks ago. We were at their restaurant just down the street. Really excited about going back there. If you haven't seen that yet on our YouTube channel, check it out. All right, we're coming up on Little O's Frozen Treats. We had a custard shiver, lime flavored. It was actually very good, delicious. Not too sweet. So a shiver is kind of like a slushy and custard put together. So that is called a shiver. And we had the lime flavored one, it was delicious, not too sweet, very nice. Welcome to the Food Truck Festival. Thanks to our sponsors. We've got Catherine's place here. They've got little drinks. All right, we're at Tavern on Broadway over here. They've got a nice little booth. Serving up some uh, ice cold beers. Yeah, I said beers. I know, beer, I get it. Polly and Cakes. We've got some delicious looking cakes over here. Really cute. The ooey gooey the dewy. I've had one of those before. Tamales plus. All kinds of stuff here. And this is Serrana's Grill. Gyros, Italian beef, pitas, burgers, fries. All kinds of cool stuff. We had the El Pastor tacos. 
Not bad. Not bad. And of course, the Happy Lobster is the longest line. It is about a half a block long right now, all the way down this way. All right, this is the Dirty Bird. Chicken strips. Hand cut, hand battered chicken strips, sunny rings, fried pickles, pork tenderloin. Love the artwork on this truck. That's a pretty cool looking truck. Tacos, tortas, burritos, y más. We did not eat here, but if I was still hungry, I would definitely have to try something from there. Ah, right, we've got Aunt Tina's sound bites. We did not eat here, but we've got cornbread fritters, fried green tomatoes, chicken tenders, entrees, pork stacks, mac stacks, potato stacks. A couple of different sandwiches, pulled pork sandwich. Cool. And the world famous Buona Beef has a truck, and they are here. I don't know if it's home of the Italian beef. I don't know if I'd call it home of the Italian beef, because I don't remember them being around when I was a kid. Maybe they were around, but they didn't have restaurants. And Tiaviolo, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Making pizzas right here on the streets in a food truck. Pretty cool. All right. Thanks for watching Pub Travels. We appreciate you. Please click like, subscribe, and share. Please subscribe. We would really appreciate your support.